I would like to congratulate schools that have submitted their video for this year's National ICT Security Discourse on NICSAT 2022 Virtual Discourse. We are grateful to receive such an overwhelming response from all of you for this special once-a-year event. On behalf of the organizing committee, we appreciate and salute your hard work and dedication on being part of this prestigious competition. As we all know, this competition was hugely impacted by the pandemic. Thus, NICSAC 2022 Virtual Discourse is a continuation from a successful year of an exciting alternative approach to elevate the challenge. Hence, Without further ado, I am pleased to announce 81 schools that have qualified for the next round of NICSAT 2022 Virtual Discourse. Congratulations once again and I wish you all the best of luck. NICSAT, there to discuss. Good morning, greetings, I bid to all and welcome to the National ICT Security Discourse CyberSafe Challenge Trophy 2022 Visual Discourse. So this, uh, the visual discourse of this year is the octo finals is now in session. I'll start in 3, 2, 1. To make sure to remember the past. People who use social media. I hope that answers your question. Uh, we are actually from uh, exposing us to cyber hygiene. Act. And the moment that we have all been waiting for, the winner for today's session is... Sekolah Sarit Congratulations! The virtual discourse for this year's quarterfinals is now in session. Where um, an artificial intelligence um, using machine learning compared to the number of cybersecurity workers in Malaysia. And I would like to add on something because the term itself says cybersecurity. The winner for this quarterfinal and going to the semifinal is. Uh, and the drum roll. Uh, <laughs> will be Team C, Sekolah Mingga Sains, Kuala Terengganu. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Misinformation itself. This is why we want the government to invest. What are the rewards? Security posture into this discourse. Cybersecurity experts want it. We should educate ourselves and everyone we know about cybersecurity. So, us as a team, we've really learned how vast the cybersecurity world really is. Like, it incorporates things like AI, economics, law, and many, many more. Second of all, we learned about how we should practice cyber hygiene, why and how, and what's the impact of practicing it in the first place. I would say that we're pretty inspired by the other groups too. The speakers all are very talented. And I still feel very grateful for having the opportunity to join this competition. I would like to thank cybersecurity so much for having this competition in the first place. And this competition should be supported no matter what. Our winner is SMK Sultan Abu Bakar. Congratulations. Team B, Sekolah Mengkosong Kabupaten Amin Wain Bakir. And obviously, SMK Abu Bakar. Of course, three of us as a team, we felt very honoured, very happy that we managed to enter Grand Finals. So many hours of our days went into preparing for Octo finals, quarter finals, semi finals, and finally it paid off because we managed to get into grand finals. Hopefully, if we win it, it'll be a fantastic experience for all of us, considering it's our first year. We are really happy that our hard work paid off and really excited to see what comes next in the grand finals. SABS, be the best. SAB, cyber clean, cyber safe. Be the best, lead the rest. AA number one. Salam sejahtera dan selamat datang ke majlis penutup dan penyampaian hadiah pertandingan akhir wacana keselamatan ICT kebangsaan Piala Cabaran CyberSafe 2022. Please join me and welcome the finalists. 
of the National ICT Security Discourse Cyber Safe Challenge Trophy 2022. Sakola menengah kebangsaan na alo aka pahang. Sakola menengah kebangsaan na Aminuddin Baki Kuala Lumpur. And Sakola menengah kebangsaan Sultan Abu Bakar Pahang. Led, ladies and gentlemen, by the St. John's Alumni Pipe Band Malaysia. did not share information in which way well, it slowed down the process. Adult, older adults aged 51 and above constitute the largest age groups of victims of Macau scam syndicates. 45% never changed their passwords in the past year. So when we do that, we have your exact coordinates, your device information and your device name. But our program does. And it will not only be held in one school, it will be held in every school. Individual employees have to update all their software and apps and make sure that they are ready to deal with any potential cyber threats. Employees are also everyday users of... What are the key strengths? So, how do you think? How do you plan to coordinate? So, what's stopping these big companies? So, could you elaborate? Our program will be constantly promoted. Malaysia is in lack of cyber security experts have strong passwords and encryption. Ladies and gentlemen, the results are in my hand. We'll start with the best slide deck. This award goes to Team B, SMK Amidudin Baki. Please come forward. The award for best presenter goes to presenter number two from Team A, Ikhwan Mukmin Abdul Munir. In the third place, our second runner-up for NITSAT 2022 goes to Team C, SMK Sultan Abu Bakar of Pakistan. So the champion is Team A, so SFK Alo Akka. And we invite SMK Aminuddin Baki, our first runner-up. And put your hands together for the champion of NITSAT 2022, SFK Alo Akka. Congratulations, the champions! of National ICT Security Discourse Cyber Safe Challenge Trophy 2022.